here which are an absolute dream so no cables to upset you or stretch or break or fall off or need maintaining these just click into place and they feel lovely up and down movement to both engines there as well we've got start and stop here as well we can uh, set the throttles to increase the revolutions of the engine as well without uh, in neutral so we're uh, all really well thought out and very nice indeed nice wheel the steering on this uh, uh this boat has been maintained recently feels lovely unlike a lot of horrible stiff steering you get to notchy etc it really does feel great on this boat and i think just about anyone could operate it so all in all very nice area we've got the uh, the vhf red Radio above us here just have a quick look this will be a modern unit if i can get it off one handed there we go nice vhf dsc unit there and a compass in front somewhere to put all your bits and pieces so we've got a 12 volt charging panel there or a charging socket and a, a big window at the front there to let light and air sorry light only down to the forward cabin but uh, look through the windscreen what a great view two big wipers we've got a view all the way around to port and starboard a little bit obscure just in the quarters here but that doesn't really matter and we can see out the back too so fantastic for driving keeping ourselves safe and preventing those collisions etc let's go down below so we've got a couple of steps down one two three down first thing we encounter down here on the right hand side is the head compartment a uh, reasonable size great headroom as you can see we've got uh, an opening window here a not opening window here we do have uh, blinds for these that uh, or material that just clips into place so you can have the privacy if you want it we've got uh, the head is facing to the port uh, aft quarter and uh, as you can see if we want to sit here and have a shower we can do um, if we're at sea we're bombing along the way back bouncing so we'd have a shower with a view but if we're just uh, doing something else then we can lift that up clip it back like so i might leave it there and we've got the toilet to use as well uh, after that we've got the sink nice uh, decent sized sink uh, we've got a shower uh, here which will clip up there so we can have a shower if we want to here and a whole lot will disappear down the plug hole that way into the holding tank very good and then in the after part of the boat uh, sorry this compartment you can see we've got some shelves here decent sized cupboard underneath here too and access to the uh, wiring just uh, in, inside the helm console which I think is a really great idea really important great for fault finding if it ever happens very good indeed okay so uh, one of the piesta resistances of this boat obviously is the forward cabin and here we are and we've still got great headroom though it does come down slightly as we go forwards that's because of the rake of the coach roof no problem you'll notice we have got uh, a hatch here and a window here both with blinds over as well so we can black this compartment out with the blinds and the curtains over the windows and you'll see as we go down we've got reading lights and we've got this lovely sized bed now this is a properly lovely sized bed there's a big storage unit under here we can lift the end of the, the bed up like this and we got room under there for all sorts of bits and pieces like dehumidifiers and things and um, we've got storage around the edges of the compartment behind this really nicely lined section here we've got some nice cupboards up here for all your bits and pieces that you would normally keep in your cabin and uh, as you go around we can see we've got a step up onto the bed so we've got a nice extra little part here and the windows will give us that really lovely view down onto the water we feel like we're inside a boat here we've got the bow flare here and we can see down to the water very nice indeed this cupboard here which is a uh, rammed full of stuff at the moment nice big hanging locker there and as you can see above me we've got this window which has got the uh, the curtain over it just to stop uh, the, the light coming through but that will give us more light if we want it and uh, make it into an even lighter compartment very nice indeed and again the lovely uh, the, the materials wood the the inside finish of the boat uh, just makes Makes it feel like a very nice place to be access to the bills down there so the, there's a the, there is an electric bills pump down there so easy to monitor as well and uh, the last compartment we'll go to is through this door this is the after cabin so the first thing we encounter is a small lobby here which uh, if we close the door here there'll be room to change we've got uh, shelves here we've got a fiddle shelf on top we have an opening window up there and a cupboard at the bottom and then if we just come in here and uh, we, we just duck down so as with uh, most aft cabins i've just caught myself on the on the handle as with most aft cabins there's a bit of a compromise here because this is a seating upstairs but of course in here you're only going to be going to getting changed and sleeping but uh, you can see what a lovely great big long very wide bed it is as well uh, underneath here we have the fresh water tank lovely window to look out first thing in the morning or last thing at night we've got a curtain as well and it all feels nice and clean and uh, behind the bulkhead over there this uh, peels forward or drops forward and we've got inside there we've got the chlorifier battery charger and the holding tank and a few skin fittings as well very nice indeed and i think i'd be quite happy in here it doesn't feel claustrophobic and uh, two people could quite happily sit here and read a book with the backs again 
against here, I think. All good. And, uh, of course, you can see we have some storage on the outboard side there, too. So, this has been Tim showing you around this uh, very nice 2020 ben Beneteau Antares 9OB. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure to have you on board. It's a pleasure being on board, trust me. And if you'd like any more information about this boat, just go to BoatShedBrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. Have a wonderful day.